Hi, Smash Factor followers. Natalie Adams here at the uh, absolutely glorious Prestatin Golf Club today. Beautiful summer's day, and I'm going to give you some game changing golf tips here on how to improve your impact position. So, one of the main things with impact, obviously, it will affect um, how you connect with the golf ball. And if you're not in the correct position, it can lead you to hitting quite badly with your strikes, you're not striking crisply, that's going to cost you quite a lot of yardage and you won't hit the target. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit an iron, I'm just hitting seven iron here. I've just placed an alignment pole uh, between my feet, so that's just going to show me where the centre of my stance is. And because I'm hitting seven iron, I'm just positioning the ball just left of centre there. Now the correct impact position is quite different from your setup position. So what you're needing to achieve at impact is this position here. And what's key that we're trying to create here is a really straight line from your left shoulder down through the hands and through the shaft as you're striking the ball or just after it so you're delivering the club head at full speed. The hands are in front of the left thigh and the majority of your weight has shifted onto your left foot. So there's a lot of pressure in your left foot here. I would say a good 70% uh, pressure in my left foot. The right heel is up off the floor and the foot is rotating towards the target. But absolutely key is that your pelvis, so the centre of your pelvis or the zip on your trousers, has shifted a good four inches to the left of the centre of your stance. So that's really making sure that you're transferring the weight onto the left side as your hips are turning towards the target. And that's the position you want to achieve as you're striking the golf ball. And what I tend to see a lot of people do when I'm coaching is that they're quite flat footed as they're hitting. So the right foot is still flat on the floor. They haven't lifted the right foot until once they've hit the golf ball, but the golf ball's now gone and then they're delivering the turn of their hips into the golf ball. So they're losing a lot of power there, but that will also result in the low point of their swing, so the low point of the club head position being before the golf ball. So you'll either catch the ground first or you'll skim the ground and catch the ball on the upswing. And we're trying to hit it on the downswing with your irons to get the uh, optimum trajectory and yardage that uh, the club can deliver. So a great tip here for you is when you're practicing especially if you're practicing off an actual uh, mat at the driving range because they can help you bounce up if you have uh, just connected before the ball, uh, is place a tee peg, a broken tee peg, about an inch or two just in front of the ball. And what you want to work on here, uh, everyone, is to make sure that once you've set up that you strike that golf ball but you also strike the tee peg. So if the low point of your swing is before the ball and you're on the upswing as you're hitting through the ball, there's no way you're going to be able to take that tee peg uh, out as you swing through. So this really will help you to make sure that you shift across onto your left side, you really get that pelvis shifted over towards the left foot and you get a downward striking action through the golf ball. So you can see there that I've struck the golf ball, but when we look back down, the tee peg has gone uh, because I've hit the ground after the golf ball. So the low point of my golf swing there was just after the golf ball. It's delivering optimum trajectory and optimum speed into that ball. I'm getting a really crisp strike. It's a game-changing golf tip.